Hey everybody, this is Dee Dee, this is Cooking at the Lake House, and we are gonna be making homemade pizza dough today. Uh, so I guess with that being said, let's make this deliciousness. I have the instant yeast. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is just put this in the stand mixer, combine 3 4 cup of warm water, yeast, sugar, and salt. Optional, you can let, with the instant, yeast you can let it sit for about one minute i always like to now if it is an active yeast you want to add warm water same the three-fourth cup to the bowl yeast sugar let stand for about 10 to 15 minutes and then add two and a half cups warm water one fourth plus one eighth cup of olive oil and one tablespoon salt that is for active so we are doing the instant today. Here is three fourth cups of warm water. I'm just gonna put that in. Then what you're gonna wanna do is do one uh, tablespoon of instant or active, in this case instant, which is one packet. Okay. Then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my salt and sugar. For the salt, it's gonna be one tablespoon, so one TBSP. Just add that right in. And then for the sugar, it is a half teaspoon. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for one minute and then I'm gonna come back and then we are gonna add the olive oil and the two uh, one fourth cups of warm water. Okay, so it has been one minute and now inside it's gonna be kind of a little bubbly everything. That means that the yeast is good and that is a good thing. That means it is alive. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna add the one fourth cups of warm water to this. Here's the one fourth. And then we are also gonna do olive oil. Okay, so this is one fourth cup of olive oil. And now we're gonna do one eighth, which is gonna be half of that. So then what we're gonna do from here, this right here is our dough hook. So I'm just gonna put this baby on and we if I can see it, and we are in business. All right, so there we go. So now I'm just gonna put this down, make sure it's locked, and we're going to turn it on low for about a few, uh, actually just for a few seconds, just to mix everything. All right, now what we're gonna do is add three cups of the all-purpose flour and mix until combined for about one minute. So I'm just scooping in because you get more of an accurate measure, measurement. Okay, so here is one cup. Here is two cups. All right, and then here is three cups of flour. So we're gonna let this mix for about one minute. Now what we're gonna do is add the rest of the all-purpose flour. So I'm gonna start with the half. And half of it just went down at the half. All right, so just throw that in. There we go. Now we're gonna do the two cups because it was gonna be two and a half, and then here's the one cup. Okay. And then it's also gonna be about one eighth of a cup as well. So I'm just gonna add that in. So then what we're gonna wanna do from here we're gonna keep mixing on a uh, low speed for about two minutes and then gradually increase to a medium or until a ball forms. Okay. 
Okay, so it's been about two minutes. So what I'm gonna do is gradually go up to medium. And we're gonna let the stand mixer knead for about six minutes. So I will see you then. Okay, everyone, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release. We are gonna take this amazing dough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some flour on the cutting board that I'm using. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, we are just gonna knead now this is not like a quick bread because the quick bread does not have yeast in it. So if it's quick bread, you don't really want to knead that much. But with this dough with the yeast, it's good to activate more. And if you want, you can throw in some, some more flour. Don't be afraid. So from here, I have kneaded what I can. So now we're just gonna make it into a nice shaped ball. Now some people uh, are better at making the ball everything else. So I'm still working at it, but hey, as long as I'm having fun, right? So yummy, yummy. This right here is the pizza dough. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna cut, coat it with olive oil. Okay. okay, so from here what we're gonna do, we are just gonna transport this baby into this bowl. And you're just gonna cover it now you can use plastic wrap if you would like, but I'm just gonna cover it and it's gonna be about 60 to 90 minutes. It's gonna double in size or volume. And then from there, that's when we are almost done. So I will see you guys then. All right, everybody. So this is the moment of truth. Let's see how our dough did. Wow, it did double in size, which is fantastic. Look at this better. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna punch it down and it's gonna get the air out. And then what you're gonna wanna do, is you're just gonna wanna take, take her out of the bowl. And look at how beautiful she is, you guys. So, little fun uh, thing I'm gonna tell you is I'm gonna cut the dough and this can be freezed for up to three months uh, in the freezer. Uh, all you do is take it out from the freezer, put it in the refrigerator 24 hours before you want to use it. So fun little thing that I did not tell you in the beginning. So I'm just gonna cut this. Okay. Now it will make between six to nine doughs. They will be about personal size, but um, hey, it works, right? Then you're just gonna wrap it. And just like that, you have a freezer pizza dough that you can take out 24 hours and put it in the fridge. So it is just super easy. This is just a make ahead uh, dough. Um, I just absolutely love it. because everybody is just so busy and nobody has time to do this on a, you know, a daily basis. And then I am actually gonna make pizza tonight, so I don't think I'm gonna use this last 
plastic wrap. But what I do is I just grab a Ziploc bag for freezer. I put made and then today's date pizza dough, just so you know what day you actually made it. So there you go. I have five pizza doughs that I'm going to put inside the freezer. Okay, now let's make our pizza for tonight. putting it on my pizza stone and I'm just gonna form it. Actually, before I do so, what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of the non-stick, just in case. So I just do not want it to stick. So just like that, I have my pizza dough on my stone, on my pizza stone. gonna spread the sauce now I did not do my homemade pizza sauce but if you do want to see it please comment in down below and you can use as much sauce little sauce as you want this is your creation so then what I'm gonna do is I have the mozzarella and I have the smoked provolone it actually uh, melts evenly and it tastes phenomenal. So I'm just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle. And there we go. Now, at this point, you can put, put any fixings that you want on. I'm just gonna do pepperoni, jalapenos, and I am also gonna be doing olives. So there you go. This right here is our pizza and I'm just going to throw it into the oven 400 degrees about 15 minutes to a half hour. You just want to check it periodically, okay? So at that point I will show you the finished result. Alright everybody. So here is the delicious pizza that we made together. How amazing. From start to finish, I was not gonna leave you hanging. It did take me 30 minutes. Just FYI. So now I'm just going to cut. Let's just put this back, back on. Just the way we like it. But yes, look at how fantastic. And we're just going to throw a little bit of hot sauce. Now, of course, you do want this to cool for a few minutes, but that's okay. mother of pearls that's hot <coughs> breathe Jen the hot sauce <coughs> <coughs> my husband's looking looking at me like I'm crazy So just like that, I know it's crazy, but we made this amazing pizza 
and I'm telling you, your family will enjoy it. So, thank you for helping me uh, on today's episode, and let me know in the comments if you like it or don't. Till next time.